Hello everyone! Welcome to Teacher Frail TV! Our subject for today is Math 4, Quarter 4, Week 4 Milk Base Let's learn about Data involving two variables At the end of this lesson, you are expected to collect data on two variables using any source, organizes data in tabular form and presents them in a single or double horizontal and vertical bar graph. Hello kids! Today, you will learn to collect, organize, and present data on two variables in a single or double horizontal or vertical bar graph. To start, study the following example and analyze how the given data are collected, organized, and presented. For example, Ivan loves to help picking pineapples from their family's farm. Every day he picks pineapples. Let us help him count how many pineapples he gathers for one week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Let us tally the number of pineapples gathered using this template. Number of pineapples gathered by Ivan for one week. Monday, he gathered 12 pineapples. Tuesday, he gathered 10 pineapples. Wednesday, he gathered 9 pineapples. Thursday, he gathered 11 pineapples. Friday, he gathered 15 pineapples. Saturday, he gathered 20 pineapples. And Sunday, he gathered 18 pineapples. Let us answer the following questions below using the table. For the first question, what is the data all about? Very good! The data is all about the number of pineapples gathered by Ivan for one week. Second question, on what day is the least number of pineapples gathered? Correct! When is day was the least number of pineapples gathered? Third question, what is the greatest number of pineapples gathered? Very good! The greatest pineapples gathered were on Saturday, which has 20 pineapples. Number 4. How many more pineapples gathered on Monday than on Tuesday? Very good! The correct answer is, there were 2 more pineapples gathered than on Tuesday. And fifth question, what is the difference between the number of pineapples collected on Thursday and Friday? Very good! The answer is 4 more pineapples were collected on Friday than on Thursday. The data can also be presented in a horizontal or vertical bar graph. How can it be done? We can construct a horizontal or vertical bar graph by following the steps below. Step 1. Draw the vertical and horizontal axis. Step 2. Label the horizontal and vertical axis. Step 3. Find the highest number in the data. Step 4. Make a scale from 0 to the highest number in the table. Step 5. Draw horizontal or vertical bars to represent the number of pineapples gathered each day. And Step 6. Write the title of the bar graph. This is an example of a bar graph. What is a graph? A graph tells a story about the data or information given. What is a bar graph? A bar graph is one way of presenting set of data which can either be vertical or horizontal in form. It can be used to show and compare information. What is a double bar graph? 
Double bar graphs helps us to compare or present more than one kind of information instead of just one by using bars. A double bar graph can be vertical or horizontal. And now, try to do the following activities. Learning Task 1 Conduct a survey of the favorite fruit of your classmates and or friends, 10 boys and 10 girls, by sending them messages on Messenger or SMS. Use the table to record the data. Here is the data. Favorite fruit of my classmates and friends. The first column are the names of the fruits. The second column are the tally of boys and girls. Kids, I will show you an example of a tally for boys and girls. Remember, this is just an example. Number one is pineapples. There are two boys who like pineapples. Number two, ripe mangoes. There are five boys who like ripe mangoes. Number three, rambutan. There are eight boys who like rambutan. Number four, lanzones. There are seven boys who like lanzones. And number five is buko. There are nine boys who like buko. Next are the girls. There is only one girl who like pineapple. Eight girls who like ripe mangoes. Twelve girls who like rambutan. Five girls who like lanzones. And ten girls who like buko. And now, answer the following question. First question, what is the set of data all about? Very good! The set of data is all about the favorite fruit of my classmate and friends. Second question, which fruit is the favorite among the girls and boys? Very good! The girls' favorite fruit is rambutan. And the boy's favorite fruit is buko. Third question, what is the least favorite fruit among the girls and boys? Very good! According to the data, the least favorite fruit among the girls is pineapples. And the least favorite fruit among the boys is also pineapples. Fourth question, what is the top choice fruit of both girls and boys? Very good! According to the data, the top choice fruit of girls is rambutan and the top choice fruit of boys is buko. Fifth question, what is the least favorite fruit of both girls and boys? Very good! The least favorite fruit of girls is pineapples and the least favorite fruit of boys is also pineapples. Remember kids, these are only my examples. Make your own survey for your classmates and friends. And now let's move to learning task 2. Ramil and Maria harvested vegetables in their farm. Data is shown in the table below. Here is the data. Vegetables harvested by Ramil and Maria. The first column are the names of vegetables, which is okra, eggplant, squash, pet chai, and ampalaya. The second column is Ramil harvested in kilograms. The third column is Maria harvested in kilogram. And we will total Ramil and Maria's harvested in kilograms. So let's total the okra. 30 plus 30 equals 60. Next is eggplant. 20 plus 20 equals 40. Next is squash. 15 plus 10 equals 25. Pet chai. 5 plus 15 equals 20. Ampalaya. 25 plus 20 equals 45. And now answer the following questions. Use the data below. First question, what is the set of data all about? Very good! The set of data is all about the vegetables harvested by Ramil and Maria. Second question, what vegetable has the highest weight harvested by Ramil and Maria? Very good! According to the total, 
The highest weight harvested by Ramil and Maria is okra. Third question. What vegetable harvested by Ramil was the least in weight? Very good. It was pet chai. Number four. What vegetable harvested by Maria was the highest weight? Correct. It was okra. Fifth question. How many kilograms of vegetable has the highest weight harvested by both Ramil and Maria? Correct! The highest weight harvested by both Ramil and Maria is 60 kilograms of okra. Let's move to learning task 3. Analyze the double bar graph below by answering the questions that follow. Analyze the double bar graph. Book's choice. The line in horizontal form are the number of pupils. The graph in vertical forms, the graph in vertical form are the number of books. The first bar graph which is blue are boys, and the second bar graph which is orange are girls. And now let's answer the following question. First question, what is the title of the double horizontal bar graph? Correct! The answer is Book's Choice Second question What information is placed along the horizontal axis and along the vertical axis? Along the horizontal axis are the number of pupils and along the vertical axis are the number of books. Third question What different groups of data are being compared? Very good! Math and Science Books Fourth question What book is the most favorite of the students? Very good! For girls, the most favorite book is math and for the boys, the most favorite book is science. You can organize data in a tabular form and present it in a single or double vertical or horizontal bar graph. Here is the sample table on your friend's favorite vegetables. How can this be presented in a graph? Here is an example on how can this be presented in a graph. And now let's do learning task 4. Construct a horizontal bar graph with the given data in the table below, then answer the following questions. Do this in your notebook. Test scores in Mathematics 4 For the first column are the name of pupils and the second column are the scores. Name of pupils, Rowena, Arman, Maria, Kemp, Marites. Rowena got 90 scores. Arman got 85 scores. Maria got 80 scores. Kemp got 100 scores. And Marites got 95 scores. Here is the bar graph. You can see the title above, the scores, and the names of the pupils. Let us use this bar graph. For the first question, who got the highest score? Very good! As you can see in the bar graph, the answer is Kemp. Kemp got the highest score, which is 100. Second question, who got the least score? According to the bar graph, the answer is Maria, who got the least score, which is 80. Third question, what is the difference of the score of Maria and Marites? Correct! Marites got 15 points higher than Maria's score. As you can see in the bar graph, Marites' score is higher than Maria's score. Fourth question, what is the total scores of Rowena and Arman? According to the bar graph, the total scores of Rowena and Arman is 175. They combine their scores. Fifth question, what is the difference between the combined scores of Kemp and Maria to the combined scores of Marites and Rowena? Correct! As you can see in the bar graph, Kemp and Maria's combined score is 185. Marites and Rowena's combined scores is 180. 
The difference of their scores is 5 points. Next, let's do learning task 5. Construct a vertical bar graph with the given data in the table below. Do this in your notebook. Here is the given data. Melons sold during weekdays. First column are the numbers of melons. And the second column are the name of days. This is the bar graph for melons sold during weekdays. Let us answer the following question using this bar graph. How many melons were sold on Wednesday? As you can see in the bar graph, they were sold 24 melons on Wednesday. Second question, what day has the highest number of melons sold? Correct! As you can see in the bar graph, Tuesday has the highest number of melons sold. Third question, what day has the least number of melons sold? As you can see in the bar graph, Friday has the least number of melons sold. Fourth question, how many melons were sold on Monday and Tuesday? Very good! They sold 42 melons on Monday and Tuesday. Fifth question, how many melons were sold on weekdays? Very good! They sold 100 melons on weekdays. Remember, a graph tells a story about the data or information given. A bar graph is one way of presenting set of data which can either be vertical or horizontal in form. It can be used to show and compare information. Double bar graphs helps us to compare or present more than one kind of information instead of just one by using bars. A double bar graph can be vertical or horizontal. Kids, do you understand our topic today? Wow! Good job! Kids, I hope you learn a lot from this lesson. Until our next topic, bye-bye kids! Thanks for watching!